Hey guys, today I'm just going to be painting just kind of a raw study of a dog's eye just so you can see the process um, involved. Uh, I use Gamblin Gamsol to wash my brushes and thin my paint and I also use Liquin as a medium. Um, it helps the paint flow better and just uh, quickens the drying time. Here's my reference photo. I'm just going to be doing his right eye. I'll leave a link below to where I get my reference photos from. They're all royalty free and they come from a site called Paint My Photo where photographers uh, submit their photos for artists to use and it's totally free. I love this site. Um, the canvas here is covered in black and white gesso mixed together. I don't like painting on a white canvas. It freaks me out. Um, I just did a little bit of a background as well here, which is the upper and lower eyelids. I like to lay in a, a background anytime I'm painting, even though it looks like a hot mess. Um, I just like to have something down when I start painting the main subject. It just, I don't know, for some reason it puts everything kind of more into perspective for me. So here I'm just working on the pupil and the iris and then doing the the white of the eye which is never really white it's always it can be like a, a really light blue or light purple or pink um, or mixture of all those and for the pupil and the dog's eyeliner basically um, I never use black hardly ever ever use black in a painting I just mix my own with um, ultramarine blue a little tiny bit of yellow and um, burnt umber and yeah, that's basically it. Sometimes I'll throw in a little bit of red as well, just get to make the darkest color I can possibly make. Um, here I'm just doing some of the finer details, refining a little bit. Um, something I want to say about the reflection in a creature's eyes. Uh, I used to paint them with just titan titanium white. But something that I noticed was the reflection in an animal's eye or a human's eye is never pure white. It's actually a reflection of the sky. So I use a mixture of titanium white and cerulean blue and I will lay in a background of this reflection that is kind of a light blue and then go back in with an even lighter blue that I've lightened with some white and it just seems to give it a little bit more realistic quality um, and the same thing for the various reflections around the eye because sometimes you can see a little bit of moisture on the lower lid or in the corner and I think I add that a little bit later but it's the same thing it's not pure white it's a light cerulean blue mixture with white Something else to note, so the upper part of the eyeball will usually have a little shadow, it's a little darker because of the upper lid, but something else that I've noticed is that usually if you're looking at the eyeball and you're imagining that it's a clock, if the reflected light is at say 11 o'clock, the brighter part of the iris will typically be opposite that, so around 5 o'clock. Um, in this case, it wasn't, but for the most part, it generally is a little bit lighter, the iris opposite the reflection. So anyway, um, I hope you like this little quick demo. Let me know if there's something else you'd like to see me paint or talk about. Um, and thanks for watching.